We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome. Yeah, a little over the top. Welcome to the Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggum's The Last Spell. Is finally out of its early access and or uh, well pre-release stuff. It is out. It is officially out. And uh, I've been waiting to play this for a very very long time. I got to play like the demo or a beta or something. I it was it was a while ago, and I've been eagerly awaiting this time where it's finally out. We can dive in and fully immerse ourselves into it. So the last spell it's by Ishtar Games, the Arcade Crew, and Gamera Games, releasing on March 9th, twenty twenty three. <sighs> it's been a while, guys. Gals, it's been a while. I'm here for it, and uh, we're gonna begin a new campaign. I played very, very, very little of this before, but I absolutely loved what I played. I played like 20, 30, maybe 40 minutes of it. So we're getting back into it, and I'm 100% here for it. All right, war. For centuries, the world was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos. Elves fighting dwarves, dwarves fighting humans, orcs fighting everyone. The common folk were bled dry. Misery, famine, plague. Secluded in this tower, researching forbidden magic secrets. The archmage Hieronymus Teller made an extraordinary discovery. Wild, unknown words of power to harness tremendous forces. A ritual of mass destruction able to obliterate any city in one strike. Hoping to end all wars, he cast a spell on Glintfane, a small enemy village. A gigantic dark ball of purple flames fell from the sky. And smashed into the town center. Black Leaving only ruins, lifeless bodies, and purple fumes. The whole royal family of a neighboring kingdom was present at that time. They all died. The king, mad with grief, ordered the military to research his uh, this new magic. This is uh, not not great, probably. He made his mages unleash hell on the closest major city. Several hundred thousand died. Every kingdom sought the purple magic. Alliances were set in motion. The sky was constantly flashing purple bursts. Thundering blasts were heard every hour. War was no more. Only annihilation. There was no turning back. At some point, the explosions stopped. A resounding silence. An ominous mist started to aggregate around the remaining cities. This all seems like bad stuff, you know? Small groups of survivors gathered. The surrounding mist was thickening. At night, they had to defend against ghastly monsters. They called them Claras. It's a terrible word for me to say in that voice. A fighter simply known as the commander took charge. Defenses were rebuilt. Some havens emerge from the chaos. Most mages were hanged, or worse, in retribution. Some of them, fearing for their lives, tried to find an answer. They found a way. A spell. The last spell. They devised complex rituals to cleanse the corrupted runic nexus. The goal was simple yet nearly impossible. Channel enough energy to break the remaining seals of magic and banish all magic from this world forever. Well, I mean, that's ambitious. But when comes the night, terrifying mutated creatures appear. They come out of the mists, 
to kill. The survivor's only hope is to fight, night after night, and protect these mages at any cost. Until the last spell is cast. Now it should have cracked with the lightning and stuff. I hope this is almost done because I don't know that I can keep talking. Okay, it's it's good. <laughs> that was uh, an overuse of that voice. I never speak that long in that voice. Oh, I should do some uh, training probably. Be good good idea. All right. <sighs> Defend the last bastion of humanity with your squad of heroes. While the mages try to banish all magic, uh, exterminate fiendish monsters by night, and rebuild your battered city defenses by day. Seems simple. <laughs> um, protect magic, protect the magic circle night after night until the mages break the seal. They, if, if the haven is lost, or the haven is lost, the magical circle is destroyed, or if all heroes are dead. Uh, during the deployment phase, position your heroes by placing them just outside the city. You can use the camera with arrow keys or WASD or WASAD, as they like to say here. Uh, edge panning or camera grip with the middle mouse button. Got it. The direction of incoming hordes is shown in the commander's journal. Okay. Uh, yep, nope. Coming from there. It seems pretty straightforward. All right, whom do we have? We have an archer lady. Gael. Gael. Ga 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 Oops. Oh, I can move her wherever I want. Okay. Uh, we have a Ka Katharin. Catherine, all right. Catharine, and we have Pierre. Pierre Despero, eleven O's, I believe. All right. Um. Yeah. No, this seems probably fine. I. Uh, okay. Huh? I guess we'll just deploy and start it off. Oh, this is so scary. You got. You guys don't realize what's about to happen. Uh, I don't think we can deploy or fix any, um, things. Like, I think we're just, this is it. Alright, so what does this do? Uh, restore some health. Okay. I, I don't think I'm gonna do well my first time. Ah, come here, freaks, and back to hell. To the walls! Alright. During the night, repel monsters until they're all dead. Seems easy. Move the heroes and use their skills in any order that you'd like. A hero's... Available skills depend on the gear that they have equipped. Skill one. Oh, hotkeys are unassigned. Huh. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're not. The hotkey is one, two, three, four, and five. So I don't. I don't know why it said that. That's. It's fine. Evasion. All right. Um. So a few of the, the creatures, I don't know how far they're going to move in a single shot. How far does this go? Magic missiles. Oh, okay. Transfer. Give back a portion of the given attribute. Huh. Interesting. And the Sword of Damocles. Alright, so it looks like we can definitely do some cool stuff here. Uh, any movement is cancelable until you cast a skill. I cannot hit that far out. But now I can hit this guy. And this guy. Alright. Um, oh, and I can oh I can do up to four hits. There we go. Simple enough. I don't know how far out she can do things. How do you cancel the movement? It said that the movements were cancelable until you cast a skill. Hmm. Jump over. We have two short bows. Apology. Oh, here we go. Rain of arrows, tight volley. That seems good. Let's do that. That was probably pretty effective. All right, and then you are a melee individual. All right. I think that's good. Let's end our turn. 
Uh, the hero's turn is about to end. You have an unresolved... You have unresolved tasks. 11 action points remaining. Uh, okay. I think it's fine, because we couldn't really do much with you. Health and mana are not fully restored every day. Each hero's health regen and mana regen are attributes that are shown next to the health and mana indicators. Uh, when a unit's health goes under a certain threshold, they become wounded. The inflicted negative effects are specific to the unit type. Hero, crawler, split. Okay, got it. Uh, hover over a blood droplet icon into the thing to discover the effects. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I think it would behoove me to probably back up. Take a couple of easy shots here. I think that you could maybe hit him with the Sword of Damocles. And then follow that with a one, two, three, four. Oh, we missed. All right, something like that. And then I think you, oops, uh, let's undo that. Come over here. Do I just punch him? That doesn't seem like a thing I should do, but I did. All right. And yeah, we can brace ourselves. Probably. Makes sense, I guess. All right. Yep, end the turn. Let's see what they've got. Oh, they smacked one of our walls or something. Select enemies to see their skills, attributes, and where they might move on the next turn. Press left alt to see where all enemies... Okay, that's very important. Use the information to place heroes in a, in a not stupid position. All right. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to hit you with a little bit of knowledge. Uh, maybe twice. Okay, and then do I have anything else for you? How do I know how many points I have? Action points are there. Okay, okay. I think we back up. Like we step in and then we can do a little bit of this. And then we can do a little bit of this. And then we can back out. And then she can step up, and we can do the Reign of Arrows here. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. we got Power Shot, we got Tight Volley. Hmm. Single Arrow. I think we can do a couple of these. Okay, when you have no action points left on your heroes, or you are done with your turn, and turn button will trigger the horde's turn. Yep, 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 yep. Got it. All right, and I think we got one more shot that we can do here. Floom. Okay, and are we... We're safe. Okay, let's say we stay there, and we, uh, we end the turn. Yep, we're all good. Almost there, hold tight. Okay, they're attacking more of our, our Debris. Any enemy within your haven or damaging its buildings and walls will cause panic. At the end of night, the panic level determines your rewards. I don't think anything's made it through to our walls just yet, so I think we're still okay. What does this look like? Okay. It's not bad. Let's hit him with that. Got like a... A little tight volley over there. Okay, she used up all her points. Alright, we got ourselves a little bit more going on here. Okay, not bad. 
There's a mana potion when you need it. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you, sir. Alright. So weaken some of these guys up. Right, we're gonna scoot back there. Alright, and then we're gonna move up. I'm gonna bash you. I mean we don't have we just punch you, honestly. You're not gonna bring a lot to the table here. I mean, as much as I want to step in and do more, I think we have to sit here and, and bite our time a little bit. But we do have armor, which is good. It's only 10, but we could buff it up more if we had to. Like, if stuff was about to really, really get out of control. Now, the downside is Pierre is kind of running out of uh, stuff he can do with his magic missile. However, he still has a transfer ability, and he can still use the Sword of Damocles. I think he could just drop on someone from a distance. Okay, that, I think that works. I think that works for me. I think I'm okay with all of these things. All right, let's end the turn. Okay, remaining enemies. There's 33 remaining, but we're not uh, not really in trouble just yet. Um, maybe, maybe we. How does power shot work? An accurate? Uh, no, I don't think we. I don't think we want an inaccurate one. He's gonna bleed out probably. Oh, let's uh, let's see what happens with this guy. Uh, badly wounded. Oh, he won't bleed out. That's just okay. So he he's actually fine. Do Titan Volley. Could probably do two of those. Can't handle your style, that's true. Alright, take another shot though. Oh, we missed. It's unfortunate. Alright, I think with the Sword of Damocles coming down. See, that's kind of unfortunate here. All right, hold on. Can we can we hit you with this one? Okay, that's good. All right, we're gonna move you here. We'll let you go with the crush move. Put two of you down. And then if we back up to there, even to there is fine. All right, I think we're good. 24 left. I mean, they are grouped rather tightly over here. Oh, okay. I did a dumb thing. I, I mistook the where they can move for where they can hit me. So if I was within the red, I was going to be able to get hit. Well, that was, that was a, a dumb thing that should not have happened. Uh, and it's my fault. I'm not not blaming anyone but myself. I I did specifically move into that though, so that really hurts. Uh, that really hurts. Moving into your own demise. Not a smart plan. Do you not. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Alright, now I know that we've got this. It's gonna be fine. One, two, uh, punch there. Alright, well... Hopefully, um, healing's gonna be okay. Alright, yep, yep, yep. I wonder how long before night ends. Does it tell us, or do we... I don't think we have to actually kill everyone. 
I don't remember that being a thing that had to happen. Right, let's crush this guy. Crush this guy. What sort of Damocles action going on here? of those now does this uh does this give any kind of healing no i think that just well i don't know what it does exactly okay we're still safe we have like freebie uh attacks here with our our archery I can do a power shot if he was close enough. All right, that's fine. And we'll chill there. All right, end the turn. There's seven left. I don't think this is going to be a, a massive problem for us. Power shot. Boom. Nice, uh, easy damage shot there. A little bit of, uh, whittling down there. Alright. We're gonna move here. We're going to take you out. Okay, not sure how he survived that. There we go. Step forward and... Nope. Step forward and we're gonna bash this. And then the crush. Boom. We are unstoppable. It does say there's one enemy left. Is he right there? I think he is. Alright, there it is. We did it. We healed. It looks like our... Our wound probably went away. This is such a fun game. I really like it. There's a lot to it though. Alright, so we lost 42 HP. It looks like we healed mostly back up. We killed 52 and 13. Of the enemies, we all hit a level there. Continue. We got six, 76, 86, okay, 90, 105 gold, 100, uh, whatever this uh, money is, plus one item. And we had an A rank, I suppose, versus uh, maybe an S rank being the best if you, if you did anything flawlessly there. All right. So, at the bottom here, that we're no longer being attacked from this side, we're being attacked from over here. Alright, now, during the production phase, you can rebuild the Haven and enhance your heroes. The Commander's Journal serves as a reminder of everything that you can do. Commander's Journal is over here on the left-hand side. Multiple resources are available in your Haven. Gold is used for building structures and buying equipment, while materials are used for defenses. Workers are used to trigger the active abilities of some buildings and will replenish every day. Okay. Alright, so we can zoom in a little bit here. Uh, we can level up, so we're going to go do that. Increase the primary and secondary attributes of your heroes to reinforce a strength or alleviate a weakness. Totally makes sense. Uh, okay, so... Attributes re-roll. What does that mean? Oh, if you don't like the choices offered, you can re-roll them, but there will be less options to choose from. Oh. All right, we can increase armor on Catherine, which I believe is our armor individual. So I think I want that, actually. Yeah. So if she gets stuck out and has to take a couple hits, she can. Uh, secondary attribute, momentum. Deal bonus damage per tile traveled. Eh. Daily health regen, that's kind of common. Critical power, eh. Healing received. Multiplier applied to any kind of health restored to this hero. Isolation, no units adjacent. That might work, actually. Because, honestly, the other two are ranged, so sitting back a bit further. Um, I think we're going to go with the health regen. I know, feels... No, you know what? I'm going to go with the isolation. 
I feel like it works for that character. All right, so we did that. Now we go over here to perks. Build your own combination of passive abilities to further specialize the play style of your heroes. You know what, guys and gals? I, I want to say this as well. I'm going to try to post this. I'm recording this like last thing Friday night, and I'm going to post it probably late Friday night, early Saturday morning. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a stream on Sunday, maybe? I don't know exactly when. But I might actually stream this. This is a lot of fun. I'll, I'll If I'm able to, I will do a different like save file and just have a stream save file and then a YouTube Let's Play save file. Uh, but this is a lot of fun, and I like I said, I've really been eager and excited to play this. And I think this is the perfect kind of game that works very well with uh, streaming. So we'll see. All right, uh, you build your own. Okay, um, specialize in your heroes. Heroes have varying perk trees, so check them out carefully. Heroes will gain one perk point per level up to level 11. If you want to plan ahead, you can pin the desired perk as a reminder. Oh, that's neat. Boom. Whenever a unit is killed within a range of three, the overkill damage is transferred to all adjacent units, except this hero. Oh, interesting. Sheer power. All attacks now ignore half of the target's resistance. Exploit weakness. Isolation. Don't panic when attacking a tile within the haven. No. Whenever the fifth turn of the night is reached, okay, and then blessing. Any buff applied by the hero has an increased duration. I don't know, this is incredibly good, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe kind of like this, honestly. Okay, I'm going to throw a, a knife into that one. What is this here? Unlock the fatality skill, allowing you to execute any enemy in melee range under 10 health. This threshold is increased by three for each level of the hero. Oh. Harvester, every four enemies killed, including poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. Okay. As long as the hero didn't move, no. Cheer unlocks the cheer skill, allowing to buff the damage of an ally. Eh. Leapfrog. We lose one. What? Upgrades the jump over skill. Eh. I think I want that. Minus one movement point cost plus one range. I mean, maybe. You can also target enemies. That's not terrible. And coagulation. Armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health. Yeah, you know what? That sounds good, actually. I think I'll train that one. Like, sounds like really, really good for that character specifically. All right, we're going to go to Gal. Gal. Uh, we'll start with the character details, level up. All right. Oh, we have some not super great things, huh? Uh, accuracy, resistance, armor, and dodge. I guess accuracy. And then our secondary skill, daily health regen. Kind of makes sense. Poison damage. Does that mean we get poison at this point? On turn start. Only affects skills the poison damage, which we don't know that we have any yet. Alright. Uh, I think daily health regen again is probably what I'm going to go with. The stun chance doesn't sound terrible. I feel like I'm just immediately going for what I would think would be good, and it's all terrible, and we're going to regret this so much. Okay, so you have the same type of thing, and I think with you... Oh, potion throw. Plus one bag equipment slot. And potions out of a range of 15 tiles. That's incredible. Coagulation for you. Oh my god. Why is that so high? 31 armor? Cheer. Um, perseverance. Every two attacks with the hero. Dodge by at least one unit. Restore action point. Huh. Mana growth. Plus six mana increased by three for each. That's not terrible. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. So I feel like I'm going to use mana. I can use mana a lot. I was a little bit conservative with it near the end. Once I realized that we were running out of it. Uh, so I think that's going to be useful. All right, and then you level up. Good, sir. Armor and damage. I think damage is just it's the way. Firm. Uh, daily mana regen for you. 100%. 
All right, perks. So I was hoping that our archer would have steady aim. Uh, maybe cheer. Maybe cheer for you is a, is a good one. You're kind of a like a mid, you know, like kind of an all-rounder type situation, I think. Okay, so we did that. Uh, we are actually out of time. No, I want to do more. I want to play more. It's not fair. All right, well, the next horde is going to be coming from the northwest. It looks like we still have items available, some gold to spend, and other stuff to do. But that's going to be the very... Be that's hilarious. I love it. Um, that's going to be the very beginning of our adventures, uh, guys and gals. I, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I said this has uh, been a game that I have been very excited and eager to uh, get back into because it is just so much fun. And uh, it's really well done. So it's a really, really cool idea and concept, and you know, I'm 100% here for it. So take from that what you will. All right, folks, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links just like there always are. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by The Freak Show. I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We play, we fight. We conquer.